You know, sometimes the breakers aren't labeled on your panel, and you need to turn the breaker off in order to replace something. Well, that's why they made this circuit tracer. And the company is not making enough money to give me a dedicated apprentice. So first, plug in the plug tester, which is also the part that sends the signal. And then once you get to the panel, turn the tracer on. And once you're there, you need to calibrate the tester first by sliding it across all the breakers. This is the calibration phase. And normally, most of the time, the breaker that beeps the loudest, that's the circuit. And if it is the right breaker, the fast beeping will stop when you turn the breaker off. Well, normally. But see, now our plug tester is off. But let me show you another scenario, like when it's a light fixture, or in this situation, it's a smoke detector. So we've got our hot and our neutral, and we're gonna use this adapter, link in the description, in order to trace the circuit out. Let's take one clamp and connect it to the hot, and then the other clamp will connect it to the neutral, the white wire, and then plug in to the adapter. Next, run over to the breaker panel, turn on our tracer, and then calibrate by sliding over each breaker. I usually do this at least two times. But this time, I was not getting an accurate reading. And if you look, it's beeping up here above the breakers. But luckily, from experience, I know that a lot of times, the smoke detectors are connected to the master bedroom. I mean, just very often. This doesn't normally happen. And see, my plug tester's off, and even my pen tester says it's off. And now you don't have to shut off the whole home's power or the main breaker.